y'all? It's I, Demon. Um, here in my house, chilling, relaxing, getting ready for uh, Rocket Combat 15. Uh, we shot a video earlier this week, and after watching it, I said, dude, I looked like I was possessed by the devil, so I want to do this one. And thank you, Nelson, for filming it, but this is more me. Um, I've been by, I have a tough fight with Shane a Walker. Pretty sure his last name. My apologies, bro. And I am getting ready for the biggest for a big fight. Uh, the last time I was in the ring was, I believe, August, and we were getting. I was ready to go. I was in a good fight. I was in a tough fight. Come October, sir, I'm about to have the rematch. Got hit with an injury. Came back from said injury. You know, not many people knew about it. And I'm back 100%. Because I love this sport. I love my passion. I love my drive. And, you know, this year has been one crazy year for me. Um, just a couple, just a day ago, two days ago, I lost a friend of mine. Because he didn't understand what this life is like. And I've been training hard, I'm prepared mentally, physically, emotionally. And on November 11th, I'm going to be giving it my all. And I want y'all to know that. And win or lose, not gonna care, whatever happens, I'm leaving it all in the cage. And everyone says, oh, you wear stuff for autism, not this time. Someone said, why? Um, one, I want to do this for me. I want to do this for every single person who has who's believed in me, and this is a huge moment. Am I nervous? Yes. Scared? Yes. Am I about to go to war? Yes. Now, coming up, you're going to see the interview with me. And Cesar Guerrero at Mastering MMA, and then some training videos of him, and him, and of me. So sit back, enjoy. Here's this amazing interview with this great fighter. I hope you guys enjoy. Like and subscribe as well to Demon Monsoon Live. The content's getting better, and we're pushing new levels. Until next time. God bless. Demon, take it away. Peace out. Woo. Demon Monsoon Life Universe, it's I, the demon himself, Demon Monsoon, coming to you from Mastering MMA right here in Bridgewater, Virginia. Shout out to Coach Lee and Coach James and the whole crew here at Mastering MMA. Well, we got a big event. It's coming. November 11th, Rocket Combat Sports number 15. Um, I forget how many I've been on this. But my guest right now next to me, he's an honorary misfit. Of course, the other two are not here today. Uh, they're getting trained for their fights in December. But I'm with my homie, Cesar. Cesar, I'm finally putting you on YouTube, right? Oh, yeah. So, you and I got two big fights coming up November 11th at Rocket. Um, I want to ask, what got you into uh, mixed martial arts? Well, growing up, I was always uh, dealing sort of with bullying, so you know, it's always nice to feel safe and uh, I always felt like a lot of athletic ability but I didn't really know what I really wanted to pour all my energy into until I realized I loved fighting and I was like it's one of the only things I'm really good at. Um, why'd you come to Mastering MMA? I know you've been here over a year, probably around the time I started. Well, about the same. <laughs> it was uh, one of the hardest times in my life that I was going through and then all of a sudden like all the gyms started opening up after COVID and everything. So, and the gym just so happened to open back in Bridgewater where I was living. So it just seemed like an opportunity too good for me to pass. Like I said, I was going through a tough time. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take on this task and pour all my energy into it and see where this goes. Um, what do you hope to get from uh, doing this? Are you hoping to turn pro? What's your goal? That's right. I've always had a dream of being a pro fighter. Uh, I'd rather do that than obviously work for somebody else that, that's always gonna be working the crap out of me, you know? Hmm, I wonder who does that sound like, Dink. <laughs> um, 
couple of quick things about Cesar and I. We're called the Brothers of Destruction for a reason because he's cornered me in a couple of my fights, either a charity event or even Rocket 14, which was the last one I was on. And we've been on two of them. You have a very tough fight. I, I ain't gonna lie, we have the we have the poster up for everybody after this interview. Um, what do you think about your opponent? What do you think about this fight? He looks pretty tough, you know, but it's not like uh, I don't go against the toughest guys in here, so I don't think he can bring anything to the table that'll surprise me or any situation that I can't handle. I'm uh, very confident with this fight coming up. And I know we have Coach Lee, Coach James, and our corner, correction, the rank four champion, Hurricane Huffman. I gotta do that for him. Um, what's your prediction in this fight? Any prediction for you? Well, I'm looking to land some hard shots, hopefully uh, end it early, like the last fight where it was about to end early. I have a feeling that I have the ability to do that. And if not, we're just gonna keep grinding it out until he quits. And I, I promised Mama Demon there will not be a Lobo like his last fight that every time we call Mama Demon, she said that, so I, I'm gonna get busted for that one. <laughs> but coming up before uh, we let him go, we're gonna show you some sparring video that we took here with our homie Brandon. Great young fighter, wait till you see this kid in action. He's a beast. Um, he also has trained with many of the beasts here. Last question, win or lose neck this coming Saturday, not this Saturday, but the following Saturday, what are you going to do afterwards? I know I, what I want, but what do you want to do as soon as the fight's over, we leave the venue? What do you want to do? I'm just going to keep going, keep grinding, and win or lose, I always look to put on a good show. Uh, the outcome is usually not really a big thing to me. I just want people to see my potential. And after this fight, we're going to look for the next fight, hopefully get into a the boxing tournament that's going to go down in neutral corner in December. And of course, Demon Monsoon Live will be covering that event as well. Always a neutral corner, our other home base. Coming up, so you guys know, we have we just did my interview, and now we have his. So now you know both fighters. You're going to see train of Cesar and Brandon as before. You'll see some training that we've shot of yours truly. And then, of course, all the information for Rocket Combat Sports. But get ready, folks. The Brothers of Destruction are coming. I'm in a heavyweight boxing exposition. This guy is going to be fighting at 145. Word on the street is he's going to 135 eventually. I can't wait. The fireworks are coming on Veterans Day of all course. I'm Demon. There's the Cesar. Any last thing you want to say to all your fans out there? I mean, you got a few. I know that. Don't miss the show and don't blink. And that's a fact. But for now, Demon, roll the video. Later days from Mastering MMA. Peace.